Hey guys, it's Neil with Urban Athlete. Today I'm gonna to run you through my go-to stretch and recovery. Um, it's a perfect thing to do after you've run, gone through a class or gone out and gone for a run or whatever your activity is that you like to do. So I'm gonna run through it. It'll take about five minutes and we'll be good to go. First of all, we're gonna start in a downward dog position. So we're gonna go down to hands and knees. All right, I like to get into that posterior chain to start. So we're gonna pop up into a downward dog position. All right, we are going to then bend the right knee, push the left heel into the floor. You should feel a nice stretch kind of down through the calf and the hamstring. And what we're going to do is then alternate that position. So we're going to switch feet and what I call pedaling it out. We're going to pedal it out for about 10 counts. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Next, we're going to pop into those hips. So we're gonna bring our hands to the left side of the mat, drive our right foot forward. You might need to shimmy your back leg just a little bit towards the back. Make sure you're keeping the knee and the toe in alignment. And again, we're gonna kind of just sit into the stretch for a second. And then when you're ready, we're gonna push up through that back leg, just like we did for the hamstrings. We're gonna push into that rear hip. So we're gonna come up for again, right about 10 count, two, three, Four, really squeezing as we come up. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, we're going to push back into that downward dog, move the hands to the other side, and repeat the same thing. So do the best you can with this transition. You might have to shimmy your feet a little bit when you get up here. Sit down into this position just for a second. Tuck that back toe, and then we're going to drive straight up for another ten count. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. All right. So let's push down. Let's go into a little bit of child's pose. We can reach through those lats, get a little bit more stretch, stretch out that low back a little bit. So coming down, knees to the edge of the mat, sitting down into that hip bone, and really reaching forward. If you feel comfortable, you can kind of walk those hands out a little bit. Feel a little extra stretch coming up through those lats, sitting down into that tailbone and just taking a few deep breaths. Two, do about three more. Really reaching, walking those fingers. And good. From here, we're gonna push up back to all fours, do a little bit of cat-cow. So dropping that tailbone, reaching up with the head. And then when you're ready, we're gonna really push the floor away. Drive that back up. Try to get the shoulders away from the ears if you can. Doing about five here. Now, if you feel comfortable doing it, we're going to go into a little scorpion stretch. So we're going to come down, face down, hands out to a T, take the left leg, and we're just going to rotate here. You can move the left hand if you need to. Get a little stretch through the chest and also through the back. We're just going to hold it about 10 seconds. Come back to center, come back around. Oh, it might be really tight on one side. It's real tight on this side. Come back up, rotate around, push back to the hands and knees. Sit up tall. Last one for the shoulders. We're gonna come over the head. Get into that shoulder and tricep. Hold that for about 30 seconds. Slowly release. 
release. Coming back down. 30 seconds left. And come back down. Slow release. Take a beat, deep breath in. <sighs> Guys, that's my little quick stretch after the end of class. Hope you enjoyed it. Check out the rest of our videos on YouTube.